But because of the position, he can't penetrate, right? So, Audrey, you want to uh, take over? Oh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I, I could force her backwards. No, no, no. Uh, when that happens, uh, if it happens, and in my experience, it never has happened, the session is over. And for a period of time, the therapy is over. Now, kids, you have to remember, unless the client can play by the rules, then the game's over, okay? Now, um... I think that Brad Mayer probably will erect. <laughs> no longer in the realm of probability. <laughs> <laughs> well, since we're simulating, oh, I doubt that Brad will reach the point of ejaculatory inevitability. <laughs> Don't be too sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, uh, Audrey, if it happens, you remember the squeeze technique I taught you last week? Right, yeah. Okay, kids, that was great. Donuts this morning. He ate three, the sugary kind, mm -hmm. then fired me for sabotaging his diet. Mm -hmm. You try to tell me he's in a good mood? Yeah. Oh boy. Come in, damn it. Alan. Alan. Oh, no. You've been in analysis off and on for five years. You've been in therapy with me for three months. Now it's time to get off the pot. Either you begin sex surrogate therapy starting Monday, you'll find yourself another therapist to steal your money, because I can't help you anymore. Ooh, that's telling him, Alex. He said it just like Humphrey Bogart. Mm, schmuck. He thinks you're going to rape him in the first session. I told him it would probably take you six months to work him up an erection. <laughs> Will you take these donuts out of here and lose them? Jeez. Are the mice get into these? 
Because how are you doing with God's gift of rock and roll? Oh, God, I told you, for the hundredth time, he's into jazz, funk, a mixture of country, western, you know, everything but rock and roll, Alex. Oh, well, you've educated me. Now, what's happening? Well, you know, he's still into the screw syndrome. Uh, when do we cut out the touchy-feely horse shit and fuck? All I asked was, when do we get to cut out this touchy-feely horse shit and fuck? I mean, that is what we're here for, ain't it, Kelly, to find out whether I can still fuck? No. You can find that out with a prostitute, Rip. Here with me, in sex surrogate therapy, we learn certain exercises to help a man overcome his sexual dysfunction. Now... Tonight's exercise involves full frontal nudity. So, do we begin the exercise, or do you go home? One question. After I look at it, do I get to touch it? This is a non-caressing exercise. Now, whenever you're ready. No, whenever you're ready, dear heart. Uh, this here is just the better to see you with, my dear. Necessary, Rip? Hey, lady. You go to your church and I'll go to mine. You're working for me. And by God, you better remember that or I'm going to close the gate on this little pig pen right now. Listen, we can end it right now, Rip. Not just today's session, but from here on in. Now, there's no charge. My, my, my. Ain't we got us a temper. <laughs> come on, come on back. Go ahead. All right, this is a non-verbal exercise, okay? As I begin to undress, I want you to carefully monitor your emotions. When I'm all finished, I'm going to ask questions. You're going to strip buck naked, then you're going to give me a quiz? May I please begin? Don't turn away, please. Well, is that it? We just stare at each other till somebody blinks? That's fine. Why did you tear away? I didn't. I, I just didn't think there was any need in getting all hot and bothered when there ain't nothing gonna happen, no, huh? What did you want to happen? Oh, come on, Kelly. I'm 52 years old. I've been fucking since I was 12. Let me ask you this, Rip. When's the last time you enjoyed it? Huh? Smart-ass little twit. 15 to 50. I'll fuck anything that moves. And you can ask them. You can ask any one of them whether Rip Ryder's a good fuck. I'll ask it again, Rip. When's the last time you enjoyed it? Stupid bitch. I'm temporarily impotent. I, I got me a problem. You're supposed to be fixing me, not asking. I'm gonna tell you something, lady. You ain't really so fucking hot. I didn't even get an erection. Well, that's why we're here now, isn't it, Rip? You see, all the pleasure of sex has been just removed for you. It's something that you're just compelled to do. You know, fuck anything that moves. <laughs> We're here to take the performance out of sex and put a little pleasure back in. <laughs> you know something? For a lady with the most incredible body I've ever seen, you ain't too goddamn dumb. <laughs> uh, could I have one more look, please? Uh, just for pleasure. You got it. <laughs>
coach, move it. Uh, it'll take you 20 minutes to put your eyeliner on. Listen, no jeans and t-shirt tonight. We're going out to dinner. Hey. Hey. Catch. Hey. Ah, I love it. I love your breasts when your arms are raised. I love your breasts anyway. <laughs> but I go absolutely eight. Go eight later, would you please? I'm starved. Okay. I gotta tell you, we're gonna be way overdressed for the chili burger. And I gotta tell you, huh, we are going out to dinner tonight. Out. We go out. Yeah, right. We go to drive-ins and pizza parlors and burger palaces. But um, tonight I want to just really have a good time. So get dressed, hurry up. Okay. Well, if it's that big a deal to you. Mm -hmm. uh, where do you feel like eating? Uh, listen, any place at the tablecloth. You know, some place where you can, we can get dressed up and you can wear your jacket and I can wear my suit and, you know, you don't have to look all freaky. Mm -hmm. So come on. Okay. Can I bring my ball? <sighs> Please? Cute. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You're paid. I'll get you. Yes. Okay. Mike Jenner, table for two. <laughs> Thank you. Jeez, oh, Pearson. Oh. <laughs> Behave yourself. Come on. Oh, well, Jim Pearson, Emily. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, Jim, Emily, uh, yeah. I'd like you to meet... Um, um, uh, Kelly Carson. Uh, Kelly Carson. <laughs> nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, too. Oh. Nice meeting you, Miss Carson. My pleasure. Gee, the place is so crowded. I didn't think we'd need reservations, Kelly. And I did have my heart set on that chili. But I guess we better forget oh, well, it. If you have any problems, we'd be delighted to have you join us. Oh, we wouldn't think of intruding. Oh, aren't you the head of the athletic department? Yes, I am. I am, as Mike would say, the head honcho. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mike has told me so much about you. Very reverently, I must add. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. And you, Mike. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, would you excuse us for a moment? Uh, I wanted to talk to you. Are you an actress? Dancer? No, actually, I'm working on my PhD in psychology. Oh, uh, clinical... Child behavioral? No, in the area of sexual dysfunction. Uh, Kelly, Kelly, Kelly's a top-notch sex uh, therapist. You're not involved in this sex surrogate nonsense. Oh my God, no! Kelly, a sex therapist? Whatever gave you that idea? That's really funny. <laughs> no, no, she's working on an aspect of uh, counter-conditioning responses in fantasy pairing manipulations. Am I right so far, honey? She's using a desensitization uh, approximation technique. Am I, am I getting this right, huh? Uh, straight so far? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Essentially, what he's trying to say is that I... Ooh. Her stomach was upset all the way over here. But being the male chauvinist pig that I am, I had my heart set on chili in this place. Sorry. Goodbye, Mike. Uh, what do you mean, uh, goodbye? Didn't you, don't you mean good night? No, I'm very tired, so would you just leave? <clears throat> hey, <clears throat> is this the way to do it? Isn't this the way you showed me, Mike, huh? Right under the arches? Don't! Even as I stood there making a, a total ass out of myself, I couldn't stop, Kelly. It was like I had some kind of a devil inside of me, egging me on. Because you're ashamed of me. No, I'm not ashamed of you. Yes, you're ashamed of what I do. You know, I know the value of it. Even if you and Dean Pearson think it's nonsense. Maybe we just don't understand, Kelly. You know, when, you, when you're an outsider in something like this, it just... I, I just tried to explain. Explain? Well, that was some hell of an explanation. Well, uh, yeah. Oh, well, in an off-handed kind of way, I tried to explain. Well, nobody's perfect. 
Kelly, I'm sorry. Damn it, Kelly, I really am sorry. Mike, look, I, I just, you know, I would just would rather that you leave, and I... Come on, you you gotta give me some time, please. Time? Yes. Time. Mike, mm. please. Okay. No. No? I mean, I'm not... Uh, Mike, right. I'm not ready for this right now, I'm, I'm tired. Stop. Mm. Mm. How can I? <laughs> What do you always do this so many times? I can't help it. I love what you do. construction worker you were telling me about? Mm. Mm. Steve Kovacs, late 30s, macho image, early marriage. Oh! What time? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Steve, would you mind wearing out another part of the carpet here? Uh, come on, sit down over here. Come on, over here. Oh. I promise I won't make a pass at you. No, I know that. It, it's Stella. I mean, she thinks that we're just going to take our clothes off and then we're just going to do it. We, we don't do anything like that for a while, right? <laughs> Steve, tell me something. Do you think that, that touching and caressing and kissing necessarily has to always lead to sex? Well, if I'm going to kiss my wife, well, Jesus Christ. I mean, these are stupid questions. Why, 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 is that what we're going to do here all night? We're just going to talk about sex? Is that it? Hell no, sweetheart. Hey, let's, hey, get, let, let's get down to some serious screwing here. What are you doing? Are you crazy or something? Put, put your top back on. Mm -hmm. what, what is this all about? I want to know that. <laughs> it's shock, shock treatment, shock therapy. What do you think? Hey, why why'd you just flip out when I took my top off? Who flipped out? I didn't you. flip out. You could have fooled me. Listen, tell me something. When you were a kid um, and you saw a girl's breasts, yeah. did you get an erection? Right, so when I was a kid, I got an erection sliding into second base. Well, uh, what about Stella? Stella? I ain't seen her breasts since she was nursing the kids. Come on, why are you asking me all these questions? Because it's important. When you saw a girl's breasts and you got an erection, um, did you then have to have sex? Jesus Christ, I mean, I mean, unless she's some kind of girl like you or something. I mean, if a girl is going to show you her breasts, if she's going to let you touch them, well, I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, unless, you know, it's, she's some kind of tease or something in the back of a movie or something like that. Okay, all right. Uh, one more thing. If, okay, so if you see a girl's naked breasts, you touch them. Do you then get an erection and uh, have to immediately hop in a sack? Is that correct? Yeah, I hop in a sack. I hop in a sack. I hop in a grass. Backseat of the car. Get the picture. Okay. Wham, bam. Thank you, man. 
Well, Jesus Christ, Kelly, I mean, if a girl wants it, if, if a girl wants it, and if you want it, then you should do it. I mean, why the heck do you want to go around fooling around all the time? Don't you understand? See, that's the whole point. I mean, fooling around, actually, that, that's half the fun. Not, I take that back, three quarters of the fun. <laughs> you gotta learn how to fool around. You're here to learn how to enjoy your body and my body. And just forget all about what that thing down there is doing, and whether it's up, down, or sideways. Okay? Okay. Okay. Hi, Coach. What's the matter? Got problems? Nothing I can't handle. Gosh, Mike. I hope I didn't interrupt you. Oh, my God. You look absolutely edible. <sighs> Mike, uh, about last night. Ah, last night. I have never... Uh, let me record this for posterity's sake. I have never, in my wildest fantasies, imagined a woman's body was capable of such creative positioning. Mike... Is it the uh, Japanese or the Swedes who bind themselves so closely together that neither can move for like 24 hours at a time? Yes, but that's not, that, but that's tantric yoga. <laughs> and I'm not ah. here to talk about sex. Yeah. 24 hours inside you without either one of us being able to move. I could come just thinking about that. Can we try that tonight? <sighs> no, Mike. Tomorrow night? Mike, you notice I'm not laughing? I've noticed. And forgive me for being a little bemused and confused. Last night when we ran into Dean Pearson, I blew it, admittedly. Right? Admittedly, you blew it. And actually, that's what I'm here to talk about. <sighs> yes, but um, correct me if I'm wrong. Did we not repar back to your place? Hmm? And did we not air the matter out completely? And did we not subsequently um, retire to your bedroom where we began making the fabulous variations of what the rabble would call fucking? Well, God, I mean, from, from the first day that you walked in, into my classroom, I mean, from the day we met, and then you went running out... God damn it, Kelly. That's ancient history. Okay, I was hung up about getting involved with, uh... Getting involved with a woman whose profession is to, uh, help men overcome their sexual problems. Well, Mike, that's still my job, and you're still hung up, God damn it. Yes. Yes. Right, well, I understand that. So, um, look, oh, by the way, you know, I was just as eager to try that yoga bit as you were, you know? But since we can't talk, Mike, I mean, God damn it, we both just better find other partners. That's all I can say.
There's no place like home. <laughs> I read that in a book once. Gee, I can't believe it. Wait till I tell my husband that I fucked Rip Ryder. <laughs> you, uh, want something to drink? You mean something more? Uh, I had a bottle of absinthe here somewhere. What's that? Uh, fuck the absinthe. We ain't gonna need it. You want me to take my clothes off now? Yeah, I guess it'd help. Anything extra? For what? For taking your clothes off, for talking chit-chat. What's your name again? Francine. Yeah, I gotta tell you, Francine, I don't mean to offend you or nothing, but you are one shitty businesswoman. I mean, we ain't even been talking about the price of a basic fuck. This ain't work. You're a rip rider. <laughs> Bless you, child. I needed that one. I surely did. Well, ain't you gonna take your clothes off? In just a minute. Uh, say, I got an idea. I got some real neat, dirty pictures over here, and uh, we can flash them on the wall while we're warming up. Anything you want. <laughs> Suck the dirty pictures. Uh, you want to smoke some grass? Anything you want. <laughs> nah, grass makes me too mellow. Say, is it uh, all right with you if we just kind of Sit here on the bed and fool around. Anything, Anything I want. Yeah. Okay, if I call my sex surrogate and find out what the fuck I do next. What's the sex or whatever you said? Mm, you sure do have nice little titties. <laughs> Some guys like girls with big, huge bazooms. <laughs> nah, darling. They're beautiful, they're just the right size. I love little titties. Little teddy teddy, Rippy loves your teddies. Hello, little teddy. How you doing, little teddy? I'm just fine, Rip. <laughs> Darling, if, if we keep doing this all night long and nothing don't ever happen, you, you ain't gonna hate the old river now, are you? Something's already happened. I'm in bed with Rip Ryder. <laughs> Shit, I wonder if I am gonna have to call that sex surrogate. Kelly! Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, for a second there, I just thought you were my mother. God in heaven, please don't let me find it out in my pocket and the decision will be out of my hands. <laughs> oh, God. Thanks. Hi, this is Kelly. I'm not in at the moment, but when you hear the beep, if you leave your name, oh, shut up. you call. Put me the fuck down! Now, oh, goddammit! Put me down or you're gonna get hurt! Put me down. You hear me? Put me down! Put me down! You're, you're fired! You're gonna love coaching in Siberia. You understand that? You're gonna love it! Ah. Big luck. Ah. Remember, coach, don't leave till she apologizes. Who would mess with him? <laughs> Which one? What does he mean? Wait till she apologizes. Kelly. Yeah. Are you gonna try to make any sense out of what some eleven foot giant says? You you put him up to this. I wouldn't. Hey, one thing. What? You know what he said? Well, he asked me if you were a student. Yeah. He told him you were a sex surrogate. Yeah, what'd he say? I wanted to know if it was catching. <laughs> no, you're crazy. I thought Rip was really crazy, but you are Charlie Bunkers. Yeah, well, sometimes it's fun that way. Yeah. Oh, oh you got to strip me, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, it was worth the ride over here. That guy needs shock absorbers. Tell you what. What? Don't rush what you're doing. And maybe later, mm -hmm. you can get a rope. Tie ourselves together mm -hmm. and tie that 
try that tant tantric yoga yoga shtick. Huh? Whatever the hell it's called. Sounds sexy. I'd love it. Yes. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Tell us. What? Before we get into anything serious, oh. I'd like to tell you a little about myself. Oh, no? Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's important, oh. Kelly. Oh, yeah. Talk too much. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you giggle a lot, too. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm. Yeah. But I would tell you mm. that I used to work in a bakery. Mm -hmm. I used to do. Mm. I used to bake cakes and mm -hmm. pies mm -hmm. and do the toppings for our wedding cakes oh, and really? stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you why I brought it up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me tell you. Just relax for a <laughs> I second. I can't wait to find out. <laughs> what? Oh. Surprise. What? <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, I wanted okay. to do this. <laughs> very artistic. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, Mrs. Fox. No. Oh, what no. tickles. Top in there. Top in there. Oh. And straight down the cake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See? Wait. Don't tell me you used it all up. I've seen it. See what you did? You it's rubbed like, it all off yourself. It's like what happened to me. Kelly, you know something? You want to know what I haven't told you? You know why I brought this up, Kelly? You want to know why? No, I mean, yes. <laughs> I want to tell you why I started this whole thing. Please, I can't wait. I love you, Kelly. Is that it? Is that why? I love you very much. Come on in, Kelly. Grab up a piece of chair. You're all alone. Where's your game? You no, know, I kicked him the hell out of here so I could talk to you. You're my very special lady. Oh. <laughs> you want to marry me? No, but thanks anyway, Rob. <laughs> well, then, why don't you be my live-in sex surrogate? Come on the road with me. That way, as we drive down the highway, you can help me lick my dick problem. But... <laughs> Well, damn it, you're always telling me that I'm screwing up my therapy because I miss too many sessions by being out on the road all the time, right? Listen, Rip, either you realize that you have a problem with being impotent, or you uh, stick to your therapy and solve it. It just comes down to that, don't it? Well, I'm going to tell you something, Kelly. And if you quote me, I'm going to call you a goddamn liar. I guess I'd just rather work than fuck. Well... That says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going on the road for six goddamn months. Don't I deserve better than just a little old hug and a peck on the cheek? Well, yes. Mm -hmm. oh, my special lady. <laughs> <laughs> Tell that guy at the door I don't want anybody in here, okay? I'm going to try being alone for five minutes for a change. <laughs> Jennifer? Uh, you ain't Jennifer? Oh, I got a wrong number? Yeah, it's all right. You sure do sound cute. Y'all have a nice day now here. Bye. Yeah, shit, I guess I should have told her I was Rip Rider. She'd have probably come all over the telephone. My headlights are dimming. My taillights almost out. What used to be my sex appeal. How my water spout. Here's to you, Rip. Fuck if you're Abraham Lincoln, come here and let me play with them tits. Mm. 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 
Hot damn. <laughs> Honey, whatever you do, you don't pinch the old river now. Because, Lord, if I'm a dreaming, please don't let me wake up. Mm. Mm. appreciate a corned beef sandwich unless it gives you heartburn. Are you seeing Don again tonight? Yes. It's a mistake. That guy's poison. <clears throat> You're right, I eat too fast. Now, Don worries me. He's into too many numbers. Now, this sadomasochism thing, we really should drop him, Kelly. Uh, just let me try one more session. If I could just get over this big macho trip of his... He could have hurt us. Listen, let me try one more session, okay? Okay. <laughs> Don, tonight we're going to be doing a foot bath and a simple foot caress, okay? Uh, I'm going to be using nice warm water and a little soap. I'm going to be washing your feet, and I'll be using a, a very nice touching, caressing, warm type of motion, all right? So, Come on. Who are you kidding? Listen, are you ready to take off your shoes and socks? How about my pants and shorts? If you're going to wash something, I'll give you something to wash. Listen, Don, maybe we ought to just sit down and talk about this for a while, okay? And, you know, get things straight and see where we're going. No, really. Go ahead. Uh, I'm really eager to, uh, to get my feet washed. Good. It's costing me uh, thousands of dollars, and I'll still be impotent, but... Uh, at least I'll have clean feet. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you. I never thought somebody fooling around with my feet would get me all hot and bothered. Now let's get on with it. Hey, listen, maybe next session, okay, Don? But we're finished tonight. We are finished. You're finished? I'm finished. I'm just getting warmed up. I'm goddamn tired of your patty cake, you feel my big toe, and I'll wash yours routine. I'm paying you to fuck, sister, and by God, you're gonna fuck. I have to get out of here, Don, oh, right yeah? now. I need to get, get out, out of here. here. Come on, baby. Come on. Get give it to me. Come on. Get out of here. Come on. I'm gonna give it to you. Give it to me. 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 I'm exhausted. Oh, 
come on, Kelly. Mm. I don't. Kelly? What? Don't turn the light on. One of your clients here tonight, didn't you? Huh? Who was he? It doesn't matter. It does to me. Is it that, that construction worker, Steve? Alan? Who? God's name's Don, for whatever good it does. Last me. name? No. Are you going to see him again? Of course not, but I, I, I haven't talked to Alex about it. Talk to Alex about it? Are you kidding? It's over. All of it. God damn it. Happen. That filthy son of a bitch put his... Oh, God, Kelly. God, Kelly. That's it. That's it. You're getting out of it before one of those infinite frustrated kooks winds up killing you. Look what that son of a bitch did to you, Kelly. I need you. I see you like this. I know how it happened. I know why it happened. I need you too, Kelly. I really do. You do. What's for dinner? Beef stew, it's Thursday, ain't it? Steve, the washing machine is busted. Wait. No, I, I missed the ball scores. Did you hear the ball scores? I think it was four to three. Who, who won? Did the Angels win? Well, you didn't ask me who won. You just asked me what the score was. Batting 279 with 10 home runs and 45 runs batted in on the Oh, gosh. Brian with the pitch and it's an inside low foul ball. Well, what was that all about? It's called a kiss in the neck. People have been doing it for years. Not this It's about time, don't you think? What's the matter? You don't like it? Well, sure. Just that I, uh... Well, sure. Here's the pitch. Brian outside, ball two. So Brian a little tough. Tinkowski's got good power at the plate. Here. Have some bread and butter with your beer, it'll tide you over. <laughs> Stella, if you could cook, I'd marry you. Hey, now, what, are you kidding or something? If there's one thing that I can do, it. You are kidding me. I'm kidding you. The other thing, ain't it? No, don't worry about the other thing. I'm not so good at that either. And I can't even boil water. Um... <clears throat> Hey, Steve. Yeah. Okay, we'd like to remind all you Cardinal fans. Uh, maybe you could uh, show me what you do down there sometime. Down where? There. Where? With her, you know. Oh, yeah. No, sure, I'll show you sometime. Well, maybe you can show me now. Well, the kids are going to be away, you know, and the stew won't be ready for 20 minutes. Now, three balls All right. And one strike to okay, sit over here. There. <clears throat> yeah, sit here. Come on, I'll, I'll be Kelly. Yeah, put out your hands like that. Okay? Good. Okay. Okay, now you just relax, okay? Just relax your fingers. Come on. Good. That's it. It's good. 
I just relax. Count now three and two. Full count to Chikowski. One man out. And runners on first. And You're just rubbing my hand. Well, this is what we do. <laughs> That's what you do? That's what you pay a roll that money for? Look, you asked to see one of the exercises, didn't you? You said the kids are going to be gone for 20 minutes. I'll show you what They're going to be gone all night. Peter went to band practice and Vicky went to try out for, um, you know. For what? She went to try out to be a cheerleader. Oh, now, wait a second. She's going to go around jiggling around in those... Runners on first and third. Here's the pitch. Okay, come on. Take off your blouse. I will not. Oh. Okay, don't take off your blouse. I do now. Still, that's nice. What's the matter? You look nice. Here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sit here. Yeah. Come on, sit down here. Right, you just sit down here. Watch it. Okay, here, move over. Good. Okay. Now, uh, okay, this is the exercise. Now, you relax and you, uh, you get yourself in the mood. Okay? Yeah. Um, Get yourself in the here and the now. Okay, now I'm going to caress you. I'm going to caress your face first. Okay? Okay, first I caress your face. That's it. Okay, then I caress your neck. There you go. Good. Then, then I caress your chest. There you go. You see, I, I avoid the nipples uh, because that's the erroneous zone. The old river down in Lenny in his house. Right now. How do you do, Tom? Oh, look out. Lady, uh, I'm going to blow your mind. Bring that little Twitter in here, honey bee. <laughs> Kelly, I want you to meet my wife, Dory. <laughs> Dory, this here's Kelly. Hi. I'm pleased to meet you. Heard so much about you. She looks younger. You said she's old, about 30. <laughs> Ain't she something? <laughs> <laughs> she just says anything comes into her mind. <laughs> yes, sir, she's really something. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> but all this happened, Rip. Oh, Dory's one of my groupies. She come into my dressing room, uh, let's see, I think it was Wednesday night. It was a Thursday. Don't tell about that. <laughs> well, anyway, we just hit it off right then and there. Mm -hmm. Yes, Kelly. I think my troubles are over. Oh, well, now, that's incredible, really. <laughs> Maybe go on TV, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't you something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I guess the only thing that's left to say is um, congratulations and good luck. Thank you, but uh, yeah. there was something I want to talk to you about. Oh. You've done so much for me, Kelly. You brought me to the point where Dory can take over. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy, both of us sure appreciate that. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, what I had in mind was I'd, I'd still like to finish off the therapy and, uh, well... Let Dory sit in and sort of watch so that, well, you know, if later on down the line things didn't really work out, well, uh, she could take over if, you know what I mean? That's not how we work here, Rip, and you know that. But, I mean, if you and Dory want to come into a dual therapy setup... Oh, I just I'd... thought I could sit around and learn what you do. And then maybe once in a while, some of us could do it together. Do what? Well, you know, stop nudging me, Rip. Three of us fool around, get turned on together. <clears throat> well, not all the time, but just when we're in the mood. I don't think so. But Rip said. Well, Rip is wrong. <laughs> Dory, I think maybe you'd better go out, darling, and uh, just wait in the car. Well, she's kind of uppy, isn't she? Who do you think she is? Dory, I said wait in the car. Sorry. She's just a kid. She says whatever comes into her head, you know. Listen, I'm gonna say it again. Goodbye, Rip. And good luck. You don't think it's gonna work, do you? How old is she, Rip? What difference does that make? Oh, nothing. I mean, I, I really shouldn't say anything, but I mean, 
Well, look, I shouldn't go into this, but your impotency problem is just... I just told you that that had been resolved. Okay, I know. Um, look, I'm sorry. For the third and the last time, good luck and God bless you. Goodbye. Kelly, if uh, down the road by some miracle things do go wrong, can I still call you? Sugar, 24 hours a day. Cowboy. <laughs> Hours ago, didn't you just roll over in bed on your tummy and said that you died? <laughs> yeah, I did, but then I remembered we skipped dinner last night. Mm. So, munchies. Hmm? Want a uh, chaw? Uh, God, why don't you cut it for me, Michael? I cut it. Last night I cut it three times. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> Work for me. Oh, you're the one that says I never count, right? It's the quality, not the quantity. Is that what you say? Yeah. But if you can get it all in one package, uh -huh. don't, don't knock it, Coach. Uh -huh. Wait, wait. Uh -huh. No, slip. You know what? What? I love you. Uh -huh. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh. And you know what? What? If we do it again, I can give you a mustard mustache. Mm -hmm. More mustard. Uh -huh. More mustard? More ham. More mustard. Uh -huh. And cut it again, right? Yeah. Mm. Marry me. Oh, I will. Oh, I will. Oh, 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 I love you so much. God damn it to hell, Kelly. It's urgent. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, uh, uh, Rip. Now listen, this here is going to be a very short one-sided conversation because you already took up too much of my time. I'm singing at the Coliseum tonight, darling. Special all-star appearance. Gonna be a hundred thousand people out there in that audience, and I want you to be one of them. I'm gonna be there at your house around five with the tickets, okay? Bye now. Listen to this. What aging super stud, country western superstar, that's you, darling, has blessed his little teenage bride with a blissful blundle due about the time he returns. Wait, from wait a minute, wait a minute. What the fuck are you talking about? Are you pregnant? <laughs> I'd be pregnant. We aren't even do it anymore. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something, darling. It only takes once, providing you wait nine months to give birth. <sighs> Who the fuck planted that article, anyhow? I did. Boy, you're a prize winner, you know that? Rippy, sweetie. Now, goddammit, I told you, don't call me Rippy, sweetie. I ain't 14 fucking years old. You may be, but I ain't. Dory wants her daddy. Dory, you know it's Saturday. I gotta sing in less than five hours. Won't even take five minutes. Come on, superstar. Dory, stop it. <laughs> Come on, Rio. I want you. Come on. You can do it. You ain't even trying. Get the hell away from me. I'll take care of myself. Bet Kelly will be real proud of you now. Well, do you mean who is it? I told you I'd be here at five o'clock with the tickets. God, a plum for God's shoot. Doreen, you look dynamite. Without makeup, you look about 30 years old. Dory, um, here's the tickets. Now, they're front row center. I'm gonna be watching for you, so by God, you be there. I'm coming off that stage looking kick ass now, you hear? I hear. Uh, don't lose them. Whatever you do, they go about 200 bucks a piece on the scapper's market. There's lots of other cats there tonight. Uh, very big moment in the old river's career, darling. Wish me luck. Mm, much luck. Oh, uh, there's a party at my place after the wind egg about midnight. Be there, too, okay? Hey, you know, I might give uh, these tickets to a couple of kids I know. Just so you're at the party now. Deal? Deal. Why is it always so important she be around? Can't fuck me so you can do it with her? 
I've been ripped Stay up. Stay out, Kelly. Now you, you get your ass down to the car. And you keep your mouth shut the rest of the night. But by God, you stay out of my life the rest of my life. Rip. Oh, Jesus. Rip, don't. Rip, stop it. Stop it? Ah, damn. Shit lady asking me to stop this is like asking me to stop breathing. Oh, man, you're a fool. I'll see you at the party. Yeah, all right. Damn it, you promised you'd be here. I, I seen Mike and some kid in your seats there at the concert, and we, we talked about that. That's cool, but damn it, you did promise you'd be at the party. Rip, look, it's late. I, I fell asleep. Why don't you just go back to sleep? But before you do, why don't you fuck yourself? Rip. Rip. Damn it. All right, everybody. Party's over. Out of here. Everybody go home. Party's over. There ain't no goddamn song, you. Come on, out, 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 out. Come on, move it. Yeah, you do, Dex. Leave it off in the gutter or some goddamn place. Just go home. Come on, that goes for you two lovers. Come on, get out of here. Move. You old shit. Don't worry about it, honey. Just move a little faster. I want to smell some hair burning. Come on, move. Let me see the stretch marks on the way out my door. Go home, Stoney. I am home. I'm staying in the maid's room till I hit it big, remember? Good night, Stoney. Doreen! I go down the road just like God made me. You cunt. Don't hurt me. You fucking cunt! Stay right there, darling. Daddy's got a little present for you. No. I hope that fuck was a good one, because it's going to be your last. Kelly Carson. Don't you come any closer, Kelly. Or it's bye-bye, baby. 
And she goes first. <laughs> Kelly, please, help me. Look, what are you doing? Give me the gun. Don't come any closer. Tell me what happened. Just stay the fuck back. He caught me with another guy, but it wasn't my fault. He put something in my drink to make me horny. You shut up. You know I love you, Rip. Shut up. Please tell me I love him. Shut up, goddammit! Rip, give me the gun. You let her go. You come any closer, I'll blow you apart, too. You're <laughs> fucking good. You weren't here when I needed you. Hell, I wasn't. You let her go. Please. Let her go. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I'll kill myself right here in front of you, Kelly. You want to sit here and watch? No. You want to watch my fucking blame brain splatter out, huh? No, I don't, you stoned out freak. Don't you understand? You're a goddamn great musician. You got everything in the world going for you. Don't you get it? Why are you doing this, Rip, huh? Why? Because your ego, huh? Because your ego, Rip. Because you got a young broad, a young bride. I said that in. Well, let me tell you something. Ripper, I love you, you know that. So, God damn it. Give me the goddamn cut, will you? And tell me where the toilets are, because I gotta pee. I 
love you so much. Uh, if I were in front of a proper free Methodist, ow! <laughs> Episcopalian, Dutch, Irish, all let's say Scottish, English, and a little bit of Catholic that my grandmother said. I'd um, take my clothes off right here on the beach. Hey, come on, Kelly. And give you the most delicious screw ever. <laughs> Kelly, you want to get us arrested? Then you just don't ask me ever again how much I love you because it drives me crazy for your soul. Yeah. Oh, don't leave me like this, Kelly. Ah. How come you're so spaced out? Excuse me? Five minutes ago, some girl offered to give me the most delicious screw in the sand. I was just wondering where she went. Well, I, I was just, um, I was just... Thinking about Rip, Alan, Steve Kovacs? The two other guys that Alex says are ready for surrogate therapy with you? And I was just thinking... Don't you ever think about your next game? Not when we're making love. Well, we're not making love. Kelly, this isn't doing either one of us any good. Oh. Look, let me tell you something. We are making love when I'm with you. I, I don't care what it is, whether we're talking, reading a book, watching TV together. With my eyes, with my head, with my heart, I'm making love to you, Kelly. Don't you understand? It's not that easy to get this out of my head. I mean, I keep thinking about Rip. I keep thinking about... What's going to happen to Rip and Doreen now, huh? You can't get them out of your head, can you? Even while we're making love. All right. All right, I'll quit. Is that what you want? I promise you, I'll quit. As soon as I, I can be sure that I'm not going to be hurting my clients. And if Rip calls and tells you that he's ready to dive off his penthouse patio and take Doreen with him? He won't do that. But it, if he did... He'd come running, wouldn't you? And if Alex calls and tells you that he's got this poor, sick bastard who's six inches away from castrating himself because it doesn't work anymore. Oh, don't do this to me, don't. I'm trying. I am too, Kelly. I'm trying too. But... Uh, what? I just 
can't live with Kelly. here on a Monday morning. Fantastic morning, isn't it? I've got a very special treat for you this morning. You're not going to believe it. We're talking about show business legends. I'm talking about Rip Ryder. How you doing, old buddy? You up yet? <coughs> barely, Sammy. Just barely. Listen, old buddy, before we get started here, i got to tell you, I lost 20 bucks on you. I laid five to one that there'd be no way you were going to get up at this hour in the morning, particularly after last night's concert and the party. <laughs> Well, I gotta tell you the truth, Sammy. I really never had no mind to show up, but uh, there's a couple of things that happened to me after that party ended. If there's a lady out there named Kelly Carson listening, Kelly, thank you for saving my life. This here's for you, for saving my soul, and for making me whole, and for freeing my feelings from jail. Love you, Florence Nightingale. The night is really strong And lying here alone with you Is getting habit forming So I dreamed up a little plan I'm gonna tell you all about But first of all we have to blow the candles out Then we won't say goodnight Love on. 